we're here with Australia's greatest ever jockey, Damien Oliver, and we're going to fire a quick couple of questions at Damien in the lead up to tonight's big game. Firstly, Damien, I've been told in your junior football days, under 15s, you used to play as a ruckman. Is that true? Well, it's not actually true unless I played for a team full of midgets. If you can you imagine if I was the ruckman? But uh, no, I used to play in, uh, as a rover or uh, in the forward pocket. You previously featured in the uh, UK TV soccer program, The Match. Yes. Um, can we expect any soccer tricks from you tonight? Mate, uh, I lied to them. I used to tell them I played professional football when I went into that show. And uh, they didn't know that it was, it was Aussie football, so I'll stick to the AFL for the time being. Soccer, no, just can't do it. Round ball doesn't work. And if the team's down at half time, mate, is there any chance you're going to bring out the whip? Crack the boys in the line? Put one in my bag there, and I hope I don't have to bring it out, but there's a chance it could be produced if we need it. Fair enough, mate. Alright, when you're out there, is there any big V players you'll be looking to rough up upon? I.e. Andy Lee or Brian Strawn? Ooh, ooh, oh, yeah. To tell you the truth, this is probably... Uh, I wouldn't mind laying Strawn out. That'd be a bit of fun. Andy Lee... I think I used to play against uh, Andy at school, so... Um, but no, look, he's, he's a bit agile for me. He can, me, play, me. Andy. He can yeah. play, He can play, I can play better. <laughs> you were named in the VFL AFL Italian Team of the Century. Will you do the chicken, ma chicken dance with fellow Italians Peter and Phil Matisse? if the All-Stars get up tonight. Look, I wasn't just named and I was actually captain of the Italian oh, team of the century, so that's my biggest uh, biggest uh, tick in the, in, on the resume, that one, the Italian team of the century. Very big honour, proud Italian, and uh, uh, up there with Dipper and a few of the boys, so yeah, we'll see what happens later on. Now, you've ridden Doremus and the mighty media puzzle to victory in the Melbourne Cup. Is there any chance Strawny is going to give you a piggyback into the change rooms this evening? Um, not sure. I haven't caught up with Strawny yet, although he's a bit of a character, and uh, he actually plays all right, so... Um, Always snags a few, doesn't he? He does, yeah, and the, the people love him, so I'd better be a bit wary of Strawny. I don't want to ruffle his feathers too much. Will we be seeing you launch one of those massive 60-metre drop punts like you used to do back in your playing days tonight, mate? I think those massive ones have come down to about 45 metres now, so I'll have a crack and probably do a handy. Now, footy heads, there is only one bigger name than Andy Lee in Australian radio, and that, my friends, is Hamish Blake, and, and he joins football. us right now. And Australian football, yeah, thank you, mate. And Australian football. Thank you, bloody good to be here. First up, Ham, first things first, last year you dazzled this crowd with your banana antics from the boundary line. Yeah. Can the fans look to see a repeat performance tonight? I remember hearing one voice very clearly just yelling, Bananas Blake, you've won this match. And uh, that was me, but uh, I thought I really captured what everyone was feeling at the time. No doubt. No uh, the doubt. banana certainly has to come out again tonight, uh, to the point where I haven't been practicing any other kinds of kicks. <laughs> I mean, Andy might be right in the sense that, you know, I won't be doing traditional kicks. Tell you what, they get me on an angle. Mm, nice. Even if I'm not on an angle, I'll make an angle yeah, no and doubt. slide a banana in there. <laughs> that sounds like a euphemism, but that's how I play. <laughs> now, besides yourself, who else can you see winning the game for you guys tonight? Uh, Oliver, obviously. Uh, Damien. Oliver, the uh, big man. Oh, he, brain on that I, I, I was lying down on the floor before stretching, and he was almost towering above me. And yeah. finally, Ham. Last year, you were presented the TV Fugly Award for spunkiest male TV personality. Yeah. Is that something you hold over Andy? Well, it obviously is, and uh, another day goes by where I'm sure Megan doesn't privately think, oh, I got their names mixed up and I actually wanted the other one, but she's too proud to go back on it. And uh, and good on there, I suppose that's you've got to respect that sort of commitment to a mistake. He's a mate of yours, so you know he's actually going to step on his territory. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know. Wait and see, obviously. Um, yeah, no, I've got that over veranda, and also I'll be looking. Uh, I'll be looking quite keenly at MVP Brownlow as the season goes on. If you can, I don't know if there's bonus points up for grab for the Brownlow tonight, but if I can maybe get a 25, I don't think, I don't think they're giving votes tonight. Oh, if I get 27, 30 votes tonight, I reckon I'm a chance. Yeah, just don't get reported. That's all I'm thinking. <laughs> all right, Ham. Well, in all honesty, we've just spent the last five minutes with Andy, and you are clearly a better-looking male specimen. So, thank you for your time, and good luck. To Tonight, Ham. Check See that? Jukes. Look at him. Look at those jukes. Does Andy have ink? <laughs> I think we know who the tougher player is. <laughs> I wanted it smaller. You should say Strawny. That really hurt. Yeah, he's got the sleeve. <laughs> yeah, he's got the sleeve. This is for real, man. It's the start of a sleeve. It's a short sleeve. <laughs> Thanks, Ham. Right, Cheers, mate. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Have fun.
boys are just about to run out, as you can see. It's, they're getting all excited, they're getting revved up to play. Corey, what's going on, mate? Well, Dan, just behind this ball right here is one angry, tattooed Brian Strawn waiting to tear the All-Stars apart. I can sense a little bit of intimidation in this room, a little bit of nervousness, a little bit of apprehension, and I cannot wait to see what happens in tonight's big game. Without a doubt, mate, without a doubt. We just spoke to Hamish, and he can't wait to get his hands wrapped around Andy and punish him for all the cruel things he said to you boys back there before. Let's get into it. Now the final quarter is about to start and we've got the All-Star leading. We're only 16 points in a margin that is becoming slender by the moment. Just before three quarter time, Brian Strawn hit the scoreboard for the first time this evening. What did you think of that one, Daniel? Look, it was an amazing goal. I mean, the sign had already gone, but they've already counted in the scoreboard. So um, he's kicked two goals. He's, he's outstanding. Any other highlights in the first three quarters of action, Dan? Look, uh, Hamish kicked a goal on his arch rival Andy, which was fantastic for him. And we had a streaker, which always adds the entertainment of the whole thing. You couldn't ask for any more highlights. So, one big quarter to go, folks. I'm on the All-Stars. Oh, I reckon the Vicks can do it. Post-game, we'll have James and David live from the Big V change rooms. Back to you, boys. Stuff, Strawny, well done. Yeah. How's this rate compared to 2000 Premiership? Well, the emotion inside here is pretty much the same. The uh, the pace of the game was identical. I'm feeling just as sore. We saw Hamish and Andy out on the field tonight. Yeah. Unfortunately, Andy didn't kick a goal, but Hamish's goal. What did we you reckon? We did kick a goal. Where did were you? Kick a goal? Oh, maybe we. Where after were we? Yeah. Siren. Oh, after Siren. Well, yeah. Oh, I mean, the last goal of the game. And Hamish's performance. How'd you rate that? Haim did okay. I think Haim, Haim got amongst it, and he and he, you know, he wasn't afraid, and and he really. I think people think that Andy's more the sporty one and, and Hamish is more the academic one but Hamish did he did all right I was very I'm very proud of Ham. All right guys we're here in the All-Stars rooms with uh, Russell Gilbert. Russell what would you think about the game? Right? Well I was a runner first and I, I walked into this pole and I didn't know who to take off the ground I didn't know I didn't know what was going on for a while but now, oh, now I'm all right. Now what did I think of the game? Oh look it was, a, it was a lot of fun it turned out to be the Strawny show didn't it? You said you had three Brownlow votes coming your way Ham. Did you earn them? Because I know Strawny was pretty good. Oh, look, Strawny uh, uh, was great in the sense that, uh, you know, he left nothing on the field. He's a, um, he's a, he's a showman. Uh, hang on, having said that, I think he left some bone fragments on the field from his ankle. So do you reckon is it possible to return for you next year? Can we see you playing? Oh, look, I think this is my ninth one. And, uh, well, look, the good thing about it, I'm the only bloke who has four big V jumpers and four all-star jumpers and never played an AFL game. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, I think I'll retire. I'll, I'll, I'll sell them an auction, I'll make a bit of money and, uh, and retire. Well, there you go, Footy Heads, good exclusive. Russell Gilbert's retired from the All-Star game. Thank you very much for your time, Russ. Absolutely. Ple uh, pleasure, pleasure, yeah, boys. Russell. God love you. Thanks, hey, <laughs> good looking boys. <laughs> now, your arch nemesis, Andy Lee, we've just come from the Big V rooms, and he came out of the change rooms just five minutes ago, and there was a supermodel waiting for him. I see you, I see nothing. Well, look a little harder, because I have got here one of Roger David's top six male models. Come and scoop, folks. Let's get the showers. <laughs> that wraps up another episode Behind the Play. Stay tuned next week, where we interview superstar Mark Murphy from the Carlton Football Club. Until then, I'm Dave Zavina. I'm Daniel Malia. I'm Corey Wassell. And I'm James Boyd. And you've been watching... Behind the Play! See you next week, guys.